A promise is a promise, and as we know, it must be kept. Especially as a real gentleman. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Fabian, and as always, we have our weekly Saturday show. So ladies and gentlemen, today it's a bit different. You will see some plans like gameplay, but I will be talking about something important to me at least. We've been growing crazy fast with the channel lately, and you guys have been really supportive at viewing, commenting, liking, or whatever. And thanks to all the support also, YouTube finally enabled me to become a partner with the YouTube program. And that means I can do, for example, these polls, I can post like the community tab things, but also I finally enabled advertisements on the channel. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, it's probably sometimes annoying, especially if YouTube does like this double ad in front of a video. Mi scusi, mi scusi. But I enable these advertisements with a reason, and I mentioned it in an earlier video. Well, beforehand the videos had no advertisements, they will start to have some ads on the videos. I decided to activate this because the kickback from the advertisements will enable me to give back to the community. I think many people know that Daybreak Games is not going to invest into marketing, but maybe I can help. Before I'm going to show you guys some real numbers, some hard cash that I actually earned with advertisements, I want to give a little warning or a little disclaimer beforehand. The life of a content creator is not always rosy. It took me, let's say, a year before I even got monetized with my channel and it really, really took a lot of hard work and effort before I got so far. So if you think, ah, well, I will just start a YouTube channel because, yeah, you can make those big YouTube monies, well, that is really a myth. If you want to make some real money, please just go get a real job because this is not the way to make easy and fast money. Luckily, I got a pretty good education myself. I am nearly finished with my university and I'm really doing this as a hobby. I enjoy making videos, I enjoy talking with you guys, I enjoy reading comments and I, I just love the process. It's amazing to me and it's amazing to communicate with you using my videos and I'm really glad that you guys like what I make. That said though, it does sometimes feel like a part-time job because you spend or you can spend a lot of time on those things. For example, these simple discussion videos you see sometimes from me, well even these take around 4-6 to six hours to make for me and well it, it is a very long creative process. Sometimes during the editing process when my computer again screws up and it just deletes everything or it just closes down the program. Well, in those cases, I sometimes really think, screw this, I stop editing and let's just go to regular gaming again. But then in the end, I start thinking about you guys, the discussions we have, and then I know what I'm really doing it for. So, uh, again, thank you, you give me motivation. But okay, that motivation also brought me to the first monetization threshold of $100. Or to be more precise, $103.67. I'm nitpicking here, but... Okay, let's let's go on. That money finally came on my PayPal account, so I'm finally unable to give it away, basically. Unfortunately, I can't buy like Daybreak cash codes, so I can't like give it away directly to you guys, so I'm sorry. But what I can do, what I will do, and what I have done, and I will continue to do in the future as well, is give it to someone or somebody or an organization that is helping Planetside and will make it grow maybe in the future. I don't live in the illusion that I can make Planetside great again in my own, so maybe together with some other people, we will see. The other guy in this case that actually is really helping the Planetside community is the Derringer. The Derringer is the host of the weekly Instant Action podcast, and over there he's talking about all the news in around Planetside. This involves all kind of things, for example like real dev letters, but also some community things as well. Before the Derringer started with his own Instant Action podcast, he also participated with the Reachcast. Also a planetside oriented podcast. By now, he has literal years of experience with podcasting and he has already done over 200 personal podcasts, not even counting the Reachcast ones. So we can safely say he actually erectioned his hours of podcasting with planetside. Even the guys at Daybreak Games themselves actually confirmed this. Anyway guys, the Derringer has already been a helpful part of the community for years now and well, of course there is a cost of doing a podcast. like. You probably know you need a PC, you need a decent microphone, and in his case, he also needs to run the server to store his podcast and also host his own website. The only goal from the Derringer, next to just spreading the word to Planetside, is also to break even on the show. He doesn't want to lose money on the show, but he does also not want to make money on the show, at least I don't think so. There are a few different ways to support the channel. Uh, for example, you can share it with your friends or you can uh, review him on your favorite podcast 
uh, app, I think. Uh, yeah. He does sell it better than I do. But anyway, uh, he also had his own Amazon affiliate link to earn some extra cash when you did like shopping at Amazon. Unfortunately, the guys at Amazon are really being pricks right now and it doesn't work anymore. So he doesn't make any money with Amazon anymore. Uh, he still does though sell some shirts or merchandise. Uh, I think he also like sells mugs or something like that. So you can get for your own instant action mug. That's pretty cool, but what you can also do is you can just send him directly some money and, well, actually that's what I did. Some guys might say in the comments, well, favor, big deal, you sent the guy $100. Well, actually, that's my first earned $100 on the YouTube platform. And if this means that the guy can just rent the server for the rest of the year, make more plans at content, uh, help the community forward, then I reach my goal. Then, then I'm happy, then I'm happy. I'm also deliberately saying my first $100 because yes, it is the first. There is already more, <laughs> there is more coming, yes. Uh, and well, I'm not going to say how much exactly I got right now because I'm going to next goal. I'm actually going to save a bit more and there will be something bigger coming in the future as well. I'm not sure what though. So if you have anything in the community that thinks, well, this, this course, this could really use some extra money. This this could help the community forward. Somebody actually already told me, Faber, maybe contact the guys from uh, Recursion. Well, something like that, maybe. I'm, I'm thinking about something, but if you know a good cause for Planet Site, let me know in the comments down below, please. But to quickly go back to the Derringer, luckily, luckily, he sent me a message back. He actually received a donation and, well, he's humbled. And I, when I read these messages, I just, I don't know, I feel very happy as a human. He. <laughs> I can't really explain it actually, it's uh, it's ridiculous, but I, I'm i glad he takes it like this and uh, he deserves it 100%. If you want to, you can also of course support the Derringer, like I mentioned with the ways before. Uh, I will leave a link to his website and all this stuff in the uh, links down below, but he's also pretty active on Reddit, so if you just go to the plans at Reddit and search weekly, I think on Mondays or Tuesdays, I'm not sure right now, uh, you can actually find his show weekly. What you can also do, and I do this every Tuesday, I go on my stream on twitch.tv slash faber1 and I start the week on Tuesday, Monday is my free day, but I start the week on Tuesdays with the Instant Action Podcast. So what we do, the first day of my planet start week, we listen to the latest news, what happened in the past few days and the Derringer just keeps me up to date. What we then also do in the stream, we sometimes stop the podcast shortly and then we discuss the news point and uh, have a little talk about things. Some might say, but Faber, Faber, you got your own podcast. What about your drop podcast? Well, it is actually completely different. What the Derringer does, he does his own show. He does it completely solo. He brings the news more like a newsreader. Yeah, that sounds maybe a bit too little because he does way more, of course. But what we do in our drop podcast, we come together with multiple people, discuss it, and uh, it is less of a news only thing. So I really like what the Derringer is doing. It's something unique. And we also do something unique. That said though, the Derringer, if you want to come on our show and you're listening right now, feel free to contact me and feel free to also join our drop podcast happening every Sunday at 8 p.m. Greenwich time or 10 p.m. Central European time and sometime in America as well. I, I'm not sure about that. Link to a time converter down below as well. I do have some final words, some closing thoughts actually. I am right now helping the community and it will be amazing if you could help me as well. I only make money if you really watch advertisements, so that means not using ad blockers. If you're using ad blockers, please think about whitelisting me, not using ad block. That could potentially help you in the future as well. So maybe consider that. Or what you could also do is get YouTube Premium and watch my shows without any advertisements anyway. Other than that, guys, keep doing what you are doing. Keep subscribing, keep uh, liking the videos, keep commenting because I love what you guys are doing. and. Again, a big thanks to you, because without you, this wouldn't have been possible. Anyways, guys, I am Faber1, and I will see you soon with some more content.